Hello there. Last week, there was a report released on local government New Zealand and the future of democracy, how we basically make local government more useful and more fit for purpose for the next few generations. Because at the moment, our local government act is 21 years old and it is really outdated. It's set up in a time, you know, before everyone had the internet, for example, and that's a big factor into how we communicate these days. And what we're seeing every month at least is one or more of local body politicians out there who really should be able to be held to account for their actions, but they can't be because that's not how the law is set up. And it's genuinely ridiculous. So what this report had was 17 different recommendations for government to take on board. And this government is not going to take them on board. It's not going to be something that's even looked at until the next term. But it's 17 recommendations that whoever is in power for the next term could look at to see how we could reform this particular area. And there was some really fascinating stuff in there. Like the fact they want to roll out STV as an electoral system for all local body councils because it generally gets us fairer outcomes with a more diverse elected body at the end of it. They want to make sure that the councils are working really specifically towards bettering their tetiriti partnerships, basically doing what they can to work with local Māori to make sure that all of their outcomes, all of their procedures and all of their attitudes are thinking about how to be good treaty partners. That's not a bad thing at all. There's also other elements in there that I hadn't even realised, like the fact that Crown land doesn't have rates paid on it. So anything that the Crown owns in your area, they don't pay rates. So making sure that the Crown pays rates was one of the suggestions, but also that your rates go directly to the central government instead of to the council. And then the council gets given that money by the government, along with the rates that the government owes, in one big lump sum, so that they've got a dedicated budget that they can work with, instead of having to try and adjust based around things like rate takings for each year. There was also suggestions of amalgamations, without any suggestions as to who should be amalgamated, so that councils can pool resources. But one of my favourite things about this was that there was an idea of setting up essentially a central government commission to work with local government, on a number of issues about building trust, making sure that they're communicating better together, and to help fix up problems on a case-by-case -case basis when they arise to come up with solutions that are going to benefit everyone. Which is where accountability for local government officials would fall under. An outside body, a central government body, that can come in and go, this isn't right, this needs to be stopped, this individual is causing serious harm to individuals, communities, reputations, the business of whatever it is that you're doing on council, that to me is a really good step in the right direction. Now of course this is not going to be a big election issue, these things seldom are, but it is something to take on board when it comes to talking to your local body politicians, as well as your central government politicians around the election period. Are they keen on things like a four year term for our local body councillors, which is one of the things that was suggested in there? There's a whole bunch of stuff that you could definitely get your teeth into through the document, and it's a very easily digestible document. Make sure that you go and just do a Google search for local government reform. You'll, it'll come up there. It'll be the first search result, and I'll put the description in the link as well so you can check it out.